My name is Ben Domain, Managing Editor with Westford Cat, and here's the September 22nd edition of Westford Cat News. The Friends of the J.V. Fletcher Library will host celebrity chef Dan Souza during its annual meeting in November. Souza, a graduate of the Culinary Institute of America, will discuss his experiences on America's Test Kitchen 25, 500 recipes that changed the way America cooks during the meeting. Souza was raised in Westford and graduated from Westford Academy in 2000. His mother, Marty Souza, is an active Friends volunteer who helps with book sales. Souza is also the creator of the web series, What's Eating Dan, an editor of the New York Times bestseller, The Science of Good Cooking, and a contributor to the Splendid Table radio talk show. The meeting will be held on November 7th at 7 p.m. at the J.V. Fletcher Library. Only members and donors may vote during the business portion of the meeting. The public is invited to attend to listen to Souza, who begins his program at 7.30 p.m. The Paris Center for the Arts will host comedians Frank Santarelli and Angel Miccarelli later this month. Santarelli, also known as George Fiore from The Sopranos, is a nationally acclaimed stand-up comedian who has appeared in Johnny Slade's Greatest Hits, Crooked Lines, and Meet the Parents, among other media. Miccarelli is last season's winner of the PCA's Comedy Showcase and Contest. The event is recommended for ages 18 and older. Doors open at 7 p.m. on September 27th. Attendees are encouraged to bring their own food and drinks, and tickets can be purchased online at parishartsquare.site. The Cameron Senior Center will host its annual Harvest Fair next month. More than 25 vendors will display their crafts, services, plants, and holiday items for purchase. Coffee and cider refreshments will be available, along with homemade bake sale items for purchase. The center will also host several raffle baskets, with proceeds used to support Westford seniors. This event is sponsored by the Friends of the Cameron Senior Center and will be held at the center from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. on October 23rd. Questions can be directed to the Cameron Senior Center at 978-692-5523. Amid an extended period of dry weather and increased demand, the Water Department has upgraded its outdoor water use restrictions. Stage 3, or emergency restrictions, prohibits all non-essential outdoor water use. Water and food gardens with a handheld hose with an automatic shutoff or watering can are exempt from these restrictions. The department can issue a $50 fine for the first offense and a $100 fine for subsequent offenses. According to the U.S. Drought Monitor, a project from the National Drought Mitigation Center at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, much of Massachusetts is actually experiencing normal conditions as of September 12th. Northern Essex County and Nantucket are experiencing abnormally dry conditions. These restrictions took effect on September 17th and will remain in effect until further notice. From Westford Cat reporter Emily Collins, town officials and community members celebrated Meadowbrook Farm's success in harvesting over 75,000 pounds of acorn and waltham squash to donate to area food pantries. This project began after annual town meeting in 2023 approved approximately $165,000 in Community Preservation Act funds for the food scarcity project. Planting started in June. With the help of the Boston area gleaners, Meadowbrook Farm was able to put an old field back to good use. Quote, Westford now has a legacy of feeding people beyond its food pantry, and we will do that for years to come as long as the gleaners will have us, Bob Waskovich, one of the farm's owners, told attendees. Waskovich celebrated the late farmer Robert Bob Webb, who was involved with the restoration of Meadowbrook Farm over two decades ago. He says signage will be erected to rename the area to Bob Webb's garden to memorialize the previous owner. On the property, Webb and his wife, Margaret Webb, previously helped seven churches grow approximately 10,000 pounds of vegetables to distribute to area food pantries. Today, the farm continues to grow food for those facing food insecurity. That's all for this week. I'm Ben Domain, and you're watching Westford Cat News.